It began with a strange anomaly on a sonar screen. Scientists mapping Lake Huron's floor expected sand and rock, but found a V-shaped line of stones, clearly man-made, nearly 40 meters down. This was a hunting blind, built by ancient peoples thousands of years ago now submerged. The discovery proved the Great Lakes are more than just water, they're a living museum, preserving a world lost to rising waters. The Great Lakes hold one-fifth of the world's fresh surface water and shape their own weather. But their true depth is historical. Beneath the waves lie mysteries scientists are only beginning to uncover. These lakes are inland oceans, guarding stories of geology, biology and humanity stretching back millennia. Their story is one of constant dramatic change. Glaciers carved their basins, water levels rose and fell, and entire landscapes vanished beneath the waves. This dynamic history created perfect conditions for preserving the past, forests, settlements and geological formations locked away in cold, dark water. Archaeologists, geologists and biologists now use sonar, remotely operated vehicles and sediment cores to piece together this hidden history. Each discovery is a clue, slowly rewriting what we know about North America's past. The Great Lakes are not just lakes, they're time capsules holding secrets waiting to be revealed. To look at them today is to glimpse only a moment in a much longer story. Their depths are rewriting our understanding of the continent's history. The hunting blind led researchers to the Alpina Amberley Ridge, a submerged land bridge in Lake Huron, 9,000 years ago, this ridge was dry land, a migration route for caribou and the paleo-Indian hunters who depended on them. The ridge funneled animals and people making it a hub of ancient activity. Hunters built stone lines and blinds guiding caribou into ambush points, a sign of sophisticated strategy and social organization. The cold water preserved these sites, hearths, stone flakes and hunting structures, remain as if untouched for millennia. Each artifact tells a story of ingenuity and survival in a vanished world. Underwater archaeology here is changing our understanding of early human settlement in the Great Lakes. The ridge was not a marginal hunting ground but a center of thriving culture. As scientists explore they uncover the lives, movements and networks of these ancient peoples. The history of humanity is written not just on land but beneath the water. The Great Lakes hide geological dramas of cosmic scale. The Slate Islands in Lake Superior are the uplifted peak of a massive meteorite impact, a scar from a violent event hundreds of millions of years ago. Another hidden crater, the Beaverhead structure beneath Lake Huron, is revealed only by gravity and magnetic data, a ghostly remnant of a cataclysmic impact. Not all mysteries are cosmic, in Grand Traverse Bay, a circle of stones, possibly carved with a mastodon, sparks debate about prehistoric human activity. Is it a North American Stonehenge or a natural formation? The answer remains elusive. These oddities challenge our view of the lakes as stable and unchanging. The lake bed is a tapestry of cosmic impacts, ancient artistry and geological transformation. Each new anomaly opens a new chapter in the region's deep history. The Great Lakes floor is far from barren, it's alive with stories. The Great Lakes secrets are also preserved in ancient organic matter. Submerged peat bogs beneath the lakes act as time capsules holding pollen, plant fragments and charcoal. The most exciting finds come from environmental DNA, genetic traces left by animals long gone. In these cold oxygen-poor bogs DNA from mammoths, mastodons and extinct caribou has survived for thousands of years. This eDNA lets scientists reconstruct ancient ecosystems revealing a world of megafauna and wild landscapes. By matching animal DNA with pollen and climate data, researchers track how ecosystems changed as the ice age ended. They see forests replacing tundra, food sources shifting, and the pressures that led to extinction. It's a story of climate change, habitat loss, and the arrival of humans. The submerged bogs hold clues to one of North America's greatest extinction events. Through ancient DNA, vanished beasts speak again. Beneath the Great Lakes lies an alien landscape shaped by ancient forces. Vast hidden river systems, paleo channels, carved by glacial meltwater, snake beneath the lake floor, some larger than the Grand Canyon. These buried rivers reveal how the continent drained before the lakes existed, shaping the basins we see today. Seismic technology maps these channels, exposing the foundational plumbing of the Great Lakes. Even deeper, the rocks beneath the lakes are billions of years old, part of the Canadian Shield. They bear scars of ancient continental collisions and vanished mountain ranges. The mid-continent rift, a failed volcanic split, defines Lake Superior's shape and depth. When you stand on the shore, you're on the edge of a failed ocean. 
evidence of a world torn apart by geological forces. The rocks beneath the lakes are reminders of vanished continents and ancient upheaval. The Great Lakes story is written in stone, deep below the waves. Before ice and water the Great Lakes region was a land of fire and tropical life. Over a billion years ago volcanic eruptions laid down basalt, forming the region's mineral-rich foundations. Later, a warm, shallow sea covered the area leaving behind limestone and a rich fossil record. Fossils at places like Rockport State Recreation Area connect us to a time when this was a tropical paradise. More recently immense forests covered the land, spruce near the ice hardwoods further south. Lake sediments preserve wood and pollen from these ancient forests, revealing how vegetation responded to past climate shifts. The region still experiences small earthquakes as the land rebounds from the weight of melted glaciers. This isostatic rebound causes the land to tilt, affecting water levels and shorelines even today. The Great Lakes story is one of fire, forests, and shifting ground. Their landscape is still evolving, a final echo of the last ice age. The Great Lakes are in constant flux, and climate change is accelerating that transformation. Warmer air and water, less ice and stronger storms are reshaping the lakes and threatening both ecosystems and ancient sites. As water levels fluctuate, some submerged secrets may be exposed while others are lost forever. There's a race against time for scientists to document these irreplaceable links to our past. Despite decades of research, most of the lake floor remains unexplored. New technologies and expeditions bring fresh discoveries every year, shipwrecks, fossils and ancient DNA. The Great Lakes are a frontier of discovery, revealing how little we know about the world beneath the waves. They hold stories of cosmic collisions, vanished continents, extinct beasts, and the dawn of human ingenuity. These inland seas are more than water, they're a repository of time itself. As long as the waves wash their shores the lakes will guard their secrets inviting us to keep exploring.